And when, when, when we say that there's a school of thought, like for example the Hanafi school, it's not like one man you're following. A lot of people make this grave error and mistake. That when someone says, I you know, follow this particular school, you're not, you're not following Abu Hanifa. He's a human being. He can make mistakes. If somebody says, I follow the Maliki school, you're not following Imam Malik ibn Anas. He's a human being. He's a, he can make mistakes, no problem. Imam Abu Hanifa himself made, you know, in the Hanafi school, there are so many uh, issues in which the Hanafi school does not follow Abu Hanifa. When we say there's a school of thought, there's literally thousands of scholars. The research, the research, the endeavor, the ishtihad of thousands of scholars over thousands of years. That's just one school. Abu Hanifa radiallahu anhu he used to have a he used to have a committee of 40 people the, from whom he would take consultation. They would sit down day and night. They weren't butchers, they weren't carpenters, they never had any other job in life from Fajr to Fajr. They never even used to sleep at night. Seriously, some of them wouldn't even sleep at night. I mean, if you look into the biography, I don't have time to go into the biography. They would not, one hour, two hours, Abu Hanifa radiallahu anhu, he would only sleep two hours and 24 hours. Day and night, studying, researching, extracting rules from the Quran and Sunnah, not by himself, with his students, Abu Yusuf, Qadi Abu Yusuf, and Imam Muhammad ibn al-Hassan al-Shaybani, Imam Zuhr, Hassan ibn Ziyad, and many others. Like, likewise, Imam Malik, he had his students, Suhnoon al-Maliki. And Imam Shafi'i, who came later on, Shafi'i and Ahmed radiallahu anhu, and Huma, they came later on. Imam Shafi'i was a student of Imam Muhammad ibn al-Hassan. But even him, he would have a committee of students, like Imam al-Muzani. Imam Ahmed had students as well, like Abu Bakr ibn al-Athram, and many others. So these are schools of thought. It's not just one human being. Abu Hanifa radiallahu anhu, they would spend sometimes one day, two days, three days, investigating, researching, looking at one issue studying all the verses of the Qur'an that relate to it and going through all the hadiths that relate to that particular topic investigate it, research it, check the chains of narrators see if there's a contradiction, what is the contradiction I mean it's very delicate, it's a very detailed process and they went through all of this and then finally they would, after sometimes they say that it would take months, sometimes six months on one issue whether you should say I mean loudly or silently we, this is not something we should debate about anyway. You do, you know, there's different ways. But, you know, what's preferred? They would spend six months and then they would write books. And all of this is documented. You know, whether you should do this or do that.